Okay, welcome viewers. We are on, the, on a special topic, which is sword or radical. So under sword, we'll be treating, we have to know the definition, addition and subtraction, multiplication and division. That is the laws, conjugation, rationalization, and we now solve some questions. So let's start with the definition. So the first thing here, we define sword. A sword is any expression of this form. Any expression of this form. Where, where A is called the radicant and N is the index. So anything of this form is called a, radi a radical. So, but you need to be careful here. Also, A must be greater than or equal to zero. And A cannot be written as, as a power. As a power of N. So we don't write it as a, we can write A, the radical as a power of N. Example now. This, this is a sword because 2 is greater than or equal to 0. And it's, you cannot write 2 as a power of 4. But this is not a sword. So this is a sword. But this is not a sword because though 8 is greater than 0, but 8, you can write 8 as 2 raised to power 3. So, not a sword. So, that's it. Or radical. So, the next thing we need to know here. We need to, okay. We can, we can read this. We need to know this. We can read this as the principal, the principal, and root of A. So that's how it is, is read. So the principal and root of A. So let's enter to the next subhead, which is addition and subtraction. So for, for us to add two or more sorts, they must have the same index and radical. So we add sort if they have the same, we add or subtract if they have the same in this and they have a common a common radicant so i'm saying that you can add you can add this because they have the common in this here is 2 2 and the common radical is 2 2 also. Okay, let me use 3. 3. So the index is 2. Why this? And how do you add? You bring out the common the t common radical here. I will now add the coefficient. The coefficient here is 1. Why the coefficient here is 3? So the answer is 4 root 3. But we can we cannot add this. We cannot add this because though they have the same index, but they have different radical. So we cannot add or subtract. So not possible. So the next thing is is possible. That, that's why we added it also. So the next thing is the multiplication. We mu the multiplication law, the multiplication and division, which is the laws. So we have some laws that w that that govern sort. The first law is on multiplication. So if you have two sorts, so meaning before a sort can we can multiply sorts if they have the same index 
That's the idea. So they must have the same index. So it doesn't care about the, the radicand. So once they have the same index, you bring the two together in that index and multiply the radicands. So that's what the first law states. Why the second law is on division? So if you have a sword like this and it's divided by another sword of this, so you know we can write this as it's the same thing as this. So you just bring the two together in one index and you divide this on numerator. Why this is the numerator? So that's this multiplication and division law. So the next one is conjugation. Conjugation. Conjugation is just the removal of the radical sign from a sword. It's the removal of the radical sign from the sword. So just the removal. Oh, just the removal. The removal of the radical. Remove the radical sign from a sword is called conjugation. And how do you remove radical sign? We now go we now go over to what we call the conjugate of a sword. So the conjugate of a sword is is another sword. Is another sword or radical that removes removes the radical sign by multiplying them together by multiplying the two so once you multiply a sword by another with a, that is multiplied by another sword and the radical sign is gone implies that the sword that the one that you multiply the sword that you multiply is now the conjugate meaning they are now conjugate of each other so that's what i'm saying i'm saying that if you multiply a conjugate of a sword times the sword is the radical sign is radical sign is gone so you, there's nothing like end root again after the multiplication so anything that has that property is the conjugate of that so example now conjugate of root 2 is 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 2 since it's 2 meaning if this is the radical meaning this is the conjugate you know, anyone can be the radical because so they are conjugate of each other. So that's what it means. So the next the next question is okay, let me get an expression, general expression for that. Assuming you have look, has, if you are given a sword, let's call it the sword is this. We want to multiply it by k k is the conjugate so we need to have we need we want to get something like a do you get so i'm saying that if you multiply this this is the radical why this is the conjugate the radical sign is gone so let's get an expression for that so meaning i can still write I can write A as this, <laughs> that the same. So I brought in the radical sign so that we can, okay, let's put, assuming is R. Let's put R here, the power, let it have power. So we are, we are looking for K, which implies that K is now this over that yes so making k the subject of formula dividing by the coefficient 
So we bring the two together in the same radical and so we can write this indices so we can write this as n minus r so that is the formula for the conjugate of so this is now the con this is the formula that is the conjugate of anything of this form so okay generally given raised to power r the conjugate sorry the conjugate is n minus r so let me now give you summary the summary so the summary now, this is radical, huh? that's the conjugate. So if you have so if you have this, the conjugate is n minus r. Why, if you have a plus, so the combination is just the different. So that's it. So let me let me give you a quick example on that. So example, if you ask to find 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 the conjugate of the following. So the first one is root 5. The second one is cube root of cube root of 3. Why the third one is cube root of sorry 7 minus root 2. We have to find the conjugate without wasting time. The first one, the conjugate is, as you can see, the formula. N is 2. So 5, 2 minus 1. So the conjugate is root 5. Why the second one? This, the conjugate is now, this is 3. So this is 7, 3 minus 1, which is cube root of 7 squared, which is 49. So why finally the last one if you multiply so the answer is root 7 plus root 2. So that's it. So the next answer is rationalization. Rationalization is just conjugation also but the difference you are now giving if that's a fraction something over something. That's where the denominator is not one. That's what I mean. So we now apply, instead of, we don't call it conjugation, we now call it rationalization. It's now the removal of the radical sign. Is the removal of the radical sign from either, either the numerator or the denominator by multiplying by multiplying the, the numerator or the denominator by the conjugates so I'm saying that if you want to remove the radical sign from the numerator, you multiply numerator and denominator by the co by the the conjugate of the numerator. See what I'm saying? If you are given like root three over root seven, if I want to remove the radical sign from root three, 
from from the numerator i now multiply both by root 3 so i multiply both of them by root 3 by this now i have 3 root 21 but if i want to remove the radical sign from the denominator i multiply both by the conjugate of the denominator that's what i that's what rationalization means so this is now root 21 over 7. So as you can see, there is no radical sign. Sorry. No radical sign. And also no radical sign. So the two answers are the same. They are the same. Depending on how the answer looks like. So that's what rationalization is. Just conjugate some bots. You are now given a fraction. You now you are now asked to remove the radical sign from the. But mostly, most questions prefer most answers are left in the second one. That is the radical sign. There is no radical sign in the denominator, so it depends. It's from your option. So, but I I like using the second one. But in case the answer is this, they are the same. So let's now go over to the the main thing which is now asked answering exam questions so let's go over to the exam question 